world is in serious turmoil. Indeed, our world is truly in a state of turmoil. And I, I especially, I especially want to uh, reach out to our friends on the island of St. Vincent. The island of St. Vincent is right now going through a very difficult time. They're experiencing a volcanic eruption. The Sufria volcano is erupting and the effects are being felt <clears throat> in other parts of the Caribbean and especially on the island of Barbados. Barbados is very close to St. Vincent. So I implore you to pray for our friends, loved ones, brothers and sisters over on the island of St. Vincent, the island of Barbados, and in other parts of the Caribbean that are affected by, the, by this volcanic eruption. And if you are in the United States, especially, I would ask you to um, pray for our country. It is in a state of turmoil now, and um, we really, really need a revival. And so today and um, next week, God's willing, I want to talk on the subject that we need a revival. Let's return to God. We really, really need to return to God. Um, since I'm on, since I'm on the subject of the Caribbean islands, um, I you know of course that I am originally from the Caribbean. I'm from the island of Dominica. I know you can tell because I don't really have an accent, right? <laughs> uh, however, just thinking of the thinking of the islands, each one of the islands are very beautiful. Um, each one have its own little peculiarities. Each one have its own unique blend. And I remember uh, before I came to the United States, to the United States mainland, I spent a couple years on the island of St. Thomas, and uh, I made some lifelong friends um, on the island of St. Thomas. If you're listening today from St. Thomas, um, let me say hello to you, and um, God bless you over there on St. Thomas. But while I was there, during those two years that I was there, I learned a few things. And uh, one thing that really struck me, and I want to use it sort of as, a, as a baseline to talk about returning to God. Um, while I was there, for the first time in my life, I actually got to experience working on a construction project. And it was building a house. I was there. Um, with some of the other students working. And uh, that first day, I will never forget that first day, we were, when on that job, we were casting a floor. And I can tell you, I will never forget that day. I had never worked so hard in my life handling concrete. It was tough. Um, but one of the things as we, we experienced that, one of the things I noticed very peculiar to send St. Thomas and probably St. Croix and some of the pro some of the other islands where water is a problem. Um, in Dominica, water is not really a problem, so I've never seen that in Dominica. But I noticed that when they build houses in St. Thomas, they build, first of all, what is called a cistern uh, before building up on the house, putting the walls and so forth. Below, they build a huge cistern. Uh, it is that system that they use to store water, since water is a big issue in 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 the in, in Saint Thomas. So as the rain falls, goes down the gathering and then goes down all the way under the house or in the foundation of the house in the system. They collect that water there and they use that water um, for domestic purposes. So um, cisterns are very important in Saint Thomas, and I guess. Wherever there is a problem with water, um, if you can build a system that is very, very helpful. Jeremiah uses that figure of a cistern, and he says this about the people of Israel, uh, the people of God at the time. He says, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. And they have built for themselves cisterns, 
broken cisterns that can hold no water. Evidently, water was a problem, water has been a problem in Israel as well, in the Middle East, you know. And so God says they have committed two evils. One is that they have forsaken the Lord, and the Lord is described there as a fountain of living water. That gives it a picture of fresh, wonderful taste in water, fountain of living waters. They have put that aside. And he says, and they have built for themselves cisterns. Now, cisterns um, hold water that comes from the rain. Sometimes it can be stored there for weeks and months, you know, depending on its use. But he says, uh, the people of God have built for themselves cisterns. But he says, broken cisterns. Cisterns that have holes that cannot hold any water. And God was saying, basically, they have turned away from God. And they begin to depend on other things that really cannot sustain them. And as I look around and see the violence in our world today and see the chaos in our world today and especially as i look and see what is happening in the united states i think it is symptomatic of the fact that we have turned away from god like the children of israel we have turned away from god who is the sister who is the fountain of living waters and we have built for ourselves broken systems. And the systems talk about systems, you know, that we have become to rely on. And we have basically said we do not want anything to do with God. And I really believe that what we are experiencing here in the United States, the, 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 the foundation of it all is the fact that we have turned away from God. We do not want to embrace God's standards anymore. We have decided that our own, we have decided that we want our own system of morality. We want to do whatever we want. The fact is, my friend, you can decide to do whatever you want. But whenever you decide to do whatever you want, you don't have the option of choosing the consequences because the consequences come naturally as a result of the choice that you have made. And as the years have gone by, we have seen more and more that this country, which was founded on moral principles, Judeo-Christian principles, have turned away from those principles and we are basically basically we are deciding everyone wants to do what is right in his own eyes everyone wants to go according to feeling everyone wants to go according to that which is popular and because of that because we have turned our backs on god we are seeing what is happening gun violence and every time there is gun violence, the first thing I hear the politicians talk about um, is that making laws to, to take guns away and so on. And I, I'm sure there is place for that. But the symptom, this is just a symptom. The base of it all, the root of it all is the fact that we have no regard for God. You see, understand God is the one that created us. And God has placed a very, very high value on human life. Human life is very important to God. And that is why God said from the very beginning, if somebody takes somebody's life, his life should be taken in return because God values human life. God is the author of life. God is the one who gives life. And God is the only one who has the right to take life. That includes the unborn, by the way, uh, because we tend to talk about um, unjust injustice and so forth. And at the same time, we forget the lives of the unborn. That life is also important to God. You know, so all life, human life is very important to God. And when you see people pick up a gun or whatever they take and they 
they they go on these shooting sprees and they just take life away that is the fact that symptomatic of the fact that there is a low esteem of human life human life is very precious to god god is the one who created us god is the one who brought us into this world and god is the only one who should decide when it is time to go so my friends i'm saying today the violence that we are seeing the chaos that we're seeing the unruliness we are seeing it's simply the root of it all is the fact that we have turned our backs on god and every day it seems like it's getting worse some of the things that we are hearing and some of the things that have become popular some of the things that people are proud of honestly these are things that we used to be ashamed of not too long ago we used to be ashamed of it because it is god's standard if god says something is wrong it's who else says it if god says something is right then it is right and god's standard god's standards do not change so my friend um, pray for this country pray for this country do what you can okay do what you can but most importantly pray that god would send us a revival more important than anything else we need to return to god and it begins with you and it begins with me i need to turn back to god you need to turn back to god it is not a time to walk away from god my friend let's return to god let's return to god so i want to stop here today um, i want to continue next week join me next week as we talk on the subject let's return to god